guys, it's Modesty. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with a Valentine's Day look. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, so I thought I might as well get it up right now. So I was really trying to figure out what kind of look I want to do for Valentine's Day. I was like, do I want to do a bright red lip? Do I want to do glitter? Do I want to do something super simple? But I was like, you know what? Let's go for the middle ground. So it's you know, smoky, romantic, yet still somewhat casual, you know, very realistic. So I'm using a ton of Wet n Wild products. I'm just forewarning right now. But that's just because Wet n Wild is killing it. I feel like when it comes to, you know, their entire line, they have the majority of the best stuff in the drugstore for the price. So I do love me some Wet n Wild. So don't be worried or anything like that if you see a ton of Wet Wild. I'm just letting you know. They're just amazing drugstore products. So anyways, let's just jump into the video. But before I do that, I do want to mention to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. If you are enjoying makeup tutorials and I don't know, just give it a very thumbs up so I know to continue doing looks like this. Comment down below with any video requests that you have. Make sure you are following all my social media. It is always linked down below. I also don't forget to subscribe to my vlog channel. I literally vlog every day. Just click the link down below. And then if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Modesty Jean. I hope you stick around for, I'm sorry, I'm just like shedding everywhere. I hope you stick around for future videos. Hitting that subscribe button down there or up there, wherever you see it on your screen. And let's just dive into the makeup look. Hello guys! I have not done a voiceover in forever, so I might be a little rusty. I am priming my eyes. I'm using concealer. This is just whatever, I don't even remember. I just grabbed whatever concealer was in front of me and I slapped it on my eyes and now I'm blending it in with a sponge. Now I'm going to prep my skin. I am doing eyeshadow first, but I like to moisturize my skin, so I'm using my favorite moisturizer before makeup, which is the Peori Natural Extract. And now I'm going to be applying some tape because I want to have a nice sharp line so that when I do my wing liner, it is just foolproof. And I'm setting that with a translucent powder. We are taking the All Naturel uh, Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette. This one is in the number Nude Awakening or the style Nude Awakening. And I'm just taking those two blending shades and putting them into my crease with a fluffy brush. This one just happens to be from Wet n Wild. Um, there's a lot of Wet n Wild products, you guys. Any, I don't judge me. I thought it was a good idea to have two glasses of wine before I did this, so yeah. I am taking that taupe neutral color that I showed you and I'm going to be putting this into my crease as well. I'm just building up my crease, the blending shades, just so that we can build up to a nice, to a nice, <laughs> to a nice dark crease. By the way, I'm going to be super sloppy with this because I have the tape and that is just the beauty of the tape is you could just be so messy and when you take the tape off, it's going to look just perfect. Now I'm taking this burgundy purple shade. It's very dark and I love it. And I'm taking a smaller blending brush. This one is very long haired so it's going to distribute the product very light handedly and it's not really going to pack it on which I really, really wanted because I really wanted to build up the crease but I didn't want to, you know you know, jump in with both feet. I wanted to just build that up nice and gradually. So there was the darkness that I wanted with the easiest blending process. I'm taking this all the way to my inner corner because I'm, this is going to be a smoky eye, not a cat eye, but it's going to be a smoky eye. To blend out color, you always want to start with sweeping motions and then you want to go ahead and do circular motions when there's not as much product so you get the best blendability. I'm now taking that shimmery pink shade and I'm spraying some um, primer spray. You can use a MAC Fix Plus setting spray, eye drops, you know, basically anything wet. So you just want to get that brush wet and then you want to pack on that color. Now, this isn't a super frosty eyeshadow. It's not supposed to be. Um, you can go ahead and use a more frosty glittery shadow if you want, but I wanted this to be very realistic. So I did want it to be really pigmented and that is why I sprayed my brush, but I didn't want it to be super frosty. And I'm going all the way up to my crease and I'm basically coating my entire eye and be building it up until it is the intensity that I want. Now I'm taking the light champagne shade and I'm going to be taking it on my finger and I'm going to be placing it on top, just patting it. I don't want to, this to be super precise, I just want that extra pop on the center of my lid and then I'm blending it out with my fingers to the sides of my lid. 
I'm going back into my crease. I'm using this brown shade in the palette. I didn't show it, I'm sorry about that, but it's the second to last shade in the palette. And I'm just taking this on a little tiny blending pencil brush just to deepen my crease. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to remove the tape to reveal our winged liner outline. I'm cleaning up my under eyes to make sure there was no fallout. And now I have to just take a moment. I haven't done gel eyeliner in months on myself, so I just had to take a moment and collect myself to go in with this process. Which, you know, on my first eye, it turned out great. On my second eye, it was just a hot damn mess. <laughs> I always go out and frame when I'm doing my wing liner, so we are moving on to curling my lashes. I I don't know where. This is either from the dollar store or it's from Revlon. I can't remember, but it's just, it's an eyelash curler, and I'm going to go ahead and prep my lashes for mascara. Now, this mascara is technically from the Balm. I guess it's technically not drugstore, but I have seen the Balm, you know, in photos at drugstores, depending on your area of the country. So I guess you can consider a drugstore, but it's actually just a deluxe size, so any mascara you have will do. Now I'm taking this hard candy primer. This one is a smoothing and mattifying one. Basically takes away any sort of shine on your face. Um, I'm not doing it for that purpose. It's just what primer I had and I like how it feels on my skin, so I took that. Now I'm mixing the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover and the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Uh, so I saw Nikki Tutorials do it. I don't usually take her advice on things. Like I watch her for entertainment, but she's not someone I go to for like makeup advice. But I saw her do it and I was kind of intrigued. So I am trying it out and I'm not gonna lie, it just makes both foundations look better. They really are a really good pair. I don't know why they are, but they really, really are. I have a little bit of glow, but it's full coverage, which I love. So I'm blending this in my skin with a brush. This is the Morphe M439. You can use a flat top synthetic kabuki brush. You can use, you know, the 3D HD kabuki, whatever. What was that outside? Whew, sorry, something was outside of my window and that scared me. It was whatever you use for foundation, go ahead and use that. Now I'm taking this NYX uh, liquid illuminator. I was gonna put this in the foundation, but I forgot. So I'm just putting it all over my skin and then I'm going to spray my face down. It'll kind of melt it together with the foundation and then I'm gonna be fully blending it all into the skin. So I just have a nice illuminated face. Now I'm going to be concealing. I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me. This is like the drugstore version of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And now that I've tried the NARS one, I can actually say that and know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and I'm also mixing it with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, the color correcting one, just to get rid of any darkness. And I'm gonna be blending this into my skin using a beauty sponge. This, is, this one is technically from Morphe. It's not my fave, but I don't hate it. And my beauty blender was really dirty. So I'm using this one. I'm setting that now with a NYX pressed powder. This is just a their HD uh, no color one. I'm just gonna go ahead and set that. I'm also gonna be setting any area that I put concealer. And I'm just using this tapered highlighter brush. I don't even remember where it's from. And now I'm taking the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat uh, pressed, what is it called? Yeah pressed foundation, powder foundation, I don't know. I'm dusting all over my skin for some extra coverage and to set my face. I'm now taking the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm taking this Morphe brush that I got in my Morphe Monthly Brushes Club bag and I'm going to be bronzing my skin. I'm going to be a little bit more precise than I normally would. So it's like a hybrid of contour and bronzing. Like I'm not just full out bronzing my face, but I'm not just doing a super precise contour. So I'm going to be Press this into my skin instead of blending like I normally do because this is how I go ahead and bronze my face and this brush is amazing and it like blends as you press it into your skin. It's really, really great. I like it a lot. And now I'm taking a small eyeshadow brush to put it underneath my lip. This will make my lips a little bit more pouty and make them look a little bit more full. Now I'm taking a Wet n Wild Mellow Wine. This is such a beautiful romantic blush because it has a really deep it's a really deep shade and I love it to death. It's not too pink, it's but it's not too purple. It's like right in between. So it's really, really good for this look that I want to do, which is more of like a mauve, you know, romantic look. Now I'm taking the Physicians Formula Shimmer Brick in Warm Nude. Um, this is a really good highlight for this look because it has a pink undertone instead of a golden undertone. There's not really too much gold in my face at all right now. So I want to go for a more pink highlighter and I want to use that one from the drugstore and this one is my favorite from the drugstore. And now I'm going over top of that with the Essence Pure Nude 
um, highlighter. This is a really good drugstore highlighter. It's five bucks and it's really, really awesome. And I'm spraying my brush down because I want to, I want to really pop and highlight. And when you spray your brush, this does the trick. Now I'm doing my brows out. This is a drugstore brow product, but it's from a different country, but the brand is Sugar Queen and it's the auto eyebrow pencil. It has the same shape as the Anastasia brow definer, not the Anastasia brow is, but the brow definer, like that kind of rectangular look. So I'm just um, outlining my brows and I'm going to be combing them out with a spoolie. All right, now I'm setting my brows. I'm using a tinted brow gel. This is from Essence. This is the Make Me Brow. It's just like the Gimme Brow from Benefit. It's a dupe for it, and it's like $2.99. It's such a good deal, you guys. I have all the shades I have. I mean, they only have three shades, but I have all the shades because I use it on my clients. Now I'm moving on to my under eye. I am taking the dark brown, the burgundy, and the taupe color to smoke out my lower lash line. I start out with the dark brown, then I go in with the burgundy, and then I smoke it all out with the taupe color. You guys know the drill. I don't, I'm not super precise with my under eye ever. I always like it's just super smoky like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna smoke that out. Now I'm applying eyeliner to my waterline. I am sorry that the camera is slightly blurry. I don't know what happened. Like it was like blurring in and out during the thing. Um, I don't have autofocus, so I mean, I really don't know what happened. But anyways, I'm highlighting my brow bone now. I'm using the Warm Nude Shimmer Brick to do this just because I wanted my brow bone highlight to match my regular highlight. I'm now outlining my lips. This is just a nude lip pencil. This one's from Essence. And then I go over top of it with a NYX in, uh, I think, Mauve. And I just, I'm using a ton of lip colors, you guys. And then I am taking this um, lip yeah, I'm taking this NYC Smooch Proof Lip Stain, and you guys, they are very, very, very smooch proof. 100% smooch proof. I put this underneath of all my liquid lipsticks, so when they do fade, I still have a color there. I will put the actual shade name down below. I have to look it up on the website because it doesn't say it on the packaging, but they are great, you guys. They're so good, and they're like two and a half dollars, and these are very, very kiss proof. I'm serious. Now, you do have to build up the color if it's the only thing you want to use, but they are great, and I love them. I will be going over top of that with a liquid lipstick. This is the Nick or Nyx. This is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. You know their liquid lipstick. Um, in the shade, let me grab this bug right here. This one is in the shade um, Pink Really Hard. Now I went under it with a mauve color because I really wanted it to be like a rosy tone, and this is a little too pink for the look, but I really want to use it. So I worked with what I had, and I used a darker lip liner to do that. Now I do want a little gloss on top of it, so I'm taking the Buxom Turkish Delight, but seriously you guys, whatever gloss, this was just what I had in front of me, so I snatched that up. And that completes this look, you guys. I really hope you enjoy it, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.